Hey, I'm Laura. I'm a nonprofit communication specialist with 10 years of experience in the nonprofit sector, and this is how I manage a growing nonprofit with Notion. Welcome to your new Notion dashboard. This is what you get out of the box if you purchase my nonprofit management Notion template linked in the description. Today, I'm going to show you how to get this template set up and customized for your nonprofit. I'm going to start with a brief introduction to what Notion is, so if you're already familiar, feel free to skip ahead. Notion allows small teams of people to work together in real time on documents, tasks, notes, wikis, and databases from different devices. Notion is a single home for all your need-to-knows and need-to-dos. Easily embed images, videos, PDFs, and more to bring documents to life. I know what you're thinking, is it free? There is a free plan, but I highly recommend investing in Notion's Plus plan if your team is committing to using Notion for your operations. Notion's Plus plan costs $8 per user per month. However, with Notion's nonprofit discount through TechSoup, you get 50% off, making the Plus plan $4 per user per month. Now that you're up to speed on what Notion is, let's dive into how we can use Notion to manage a nonprofit's operations. The template I'm offering via the link in the video description is the template version of a system I built for Novelty, a 100% remote nonprofit on a mission to get youth-written literature published and taught in English language arts classrooms. As Novelty's operations manager, I knew we needed a way to centralize all of our need-to-knows and need-to-dos so that everyone, regardless of their time zone or working hours, could quickly get on the same page as the rest of the team. Notion was the perfect solution. The template I'm offering is the product of several iterations of our Novelty operating system, or Novelty OS. It is simple, streamlined, automated, and easy to navigate. Again, here's what you get right out of the box, so to speak. Um, here we have instructions for how to duplicate this page to your Notion account. Simply click the duplicate button in the top right corner of the page. Now that you have your own copy of the template ready to customize, check out the Getting Started checklist here. The Getting Started checklist features 30 minutes of clear, concise Notion training videos, just in case you're still feeling shaky with Notion. Once you're ready to start customizing, open the Start Customizing toggle list. I would recommend engaging your team members from the start. As you go through the list, work with your team to fill out your new operating system. Note gaps, note materials that need updating, and work together to delegate the work of bringing the system to life. The Mission, Vision, and Values page creates a home for your organization's guiding principles. You could even add an archive page within this page to document past mission statements if your organization has evolved in the past few years. I love the values database not only because it has a visual component, but it allows you to document any language or media or press or whatever that supports your organization's values. Like imagine if one of your organization's values was acting on community feedback and your community feedback page featured summaries of past surveys, focus groups, and town hall meetings that your organization had coordinated. Your OKR page is both the most important page and the most challenging page to fill out in this template. Consider hosting an OKR workshop with your team to determine your organization's objectives, key results, and tasks. Start by establishing qualitative objectives that explain what your organization hopes to improve. I've offered a few examples of a typical nonprofit's objectives. Let's use Make This Nonprofit a Great Place to Work as our primary example. Hopefully that's something every nonprofit wants to achieve. We need to identify quantitative, measurable key results for each objective. For our sample objective, I've identified three key results. Maintain compliance with federal and state regulations. Create a culture handbook that aligns with our mission. 
and earned at least 90% satisfaction on staff surveys. Now we need to identify the tasks required to drive the progress of these key results. It may feel time consuming or tedious to map out your actions this way, but once it's done, you'll have a game plan that's automatically generated on the front page at the start of each day. Plus, as you mark your task as complete, you will see your key results progress bar fill out. Trust me, it's so satisfying. Next up, ask your team members to navigate to the roles and responsibilities page and add their information and headshot to the database. You may also want to create and embed an organizational chart for this page. I've included a Canva template for an org chart for your convenience. You'll obviously want to engage your programs team when you're building out the programs hub. I would start by creating a clear, thorough program guide for your nonprofit's programs, if you haven't already. This template includes a fill-in-the-blank program guide template to get you started. Next, import your program documents to the Docs database. Finally, if your program relies on support from volunteers, start to populate your volunteers database. Next, enlist your development team for assistance with the fundraising hub. First of all, document your fundraising strategy in the fundraising plan page. Next, consider hosting a donor journey map exercise with your fundraising team. Populate the donor database and the donations database, then document your team's prospecting and proposals via the planning and appeals pages. Next up, work with your communications team on your communications hub. Like the other hubs, the Communications Hub has a space to document your organization's communications plan. I have included a fill-in-the-blank communications plan template to get you started. I would highly recommend using the Style Guide template to create clear guidelines for how your organization presents itself on social media. If you haven't already, start by brainstorming and planning campaigns. Then, brainstorm and plan content to support your campaign goals. Finally, schedule your content plans using the content calendar. Don't forget to dive into the SEO toolkit to optimize your website for search. The accounts and software page is probably the most tedious page, but it'll serve you well in the long run. Document your software inventory, including login info, expenses, and renewal dates. Next, we have SOPs, or Standard Operating Procedures. This database is for all of your organization's how-to guides. Take some time to identify SOPs that need to be made ASAP and create a plan of action for creating them. You can add less urgent SOPs to the Need to Make tab of the SOP database. And finally, we have the Docs page. Migrate your organization's important docs to the docs database and fill out each set of properties so you can easily find what you're looking for with database filters. And that's the tour! Thanks for watching this video! I hope this helped clarify how you can use Notion to manage your nonprofit organization. My Notion template for nonprofit management is linked in the video description. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. It really helps me out. Again, my name is Laura, and I'm a nonprofit communications specialist. You can learn more about my work at lauramcguinn.com. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your Notion journey.